Hello friends, welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We're in the Sith base. I think we were about to head down some stairs if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, looks, uh, well, not stairs, but open this door. Who dares to break my meditation? You will pay for interrupting my... Wait, I sense the force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a Force Adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the Dark Side. <sighs> you Sith must be brought to judgment for all the blood you have spilled. You are a fool. This is a new age. The Sith shall be the ones passing judgment now. We are the new order of the galaxy. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. You're supposed to make your own, dude. Don't you know that? Alright, you... Uh, ooh. How about we stun him? And you... I don't know. Uh... Also stun him, and then attack. Let's go. I am not hurting him. Oh, there we go. Oh, Bastil is dead. He jumped high. He just killed a legit Jedi. I can't see him. Oh! He's gonna kill me too. Wow! Awesome! Great fight. Let's try that again, but less bad. And maybe we should use energy shield. What can I do? You could try also using cure. Oh. You don't have no force? Come on. There we go. And you little boy, you can use this. There we go. All right. Let's try this again, but less bad. Yeah, uh-huh. Judgment, uh-huh. All right. Attack, attack. Uh, you know what? Cancel, cancel. Run away. Oh, dude just ignored it. Whoa. Nice knockdown. I don't know what he did, what she did, but... I can't move. Okay, that went way better this time. And I don't know why. I'm really slow. Oh, did I not even put down a, a mine? Well, that's lame. That's why I ignored it. Battle armor, security spike, computer spike, Durasteel bonding alloy. All right. Is that armor an improvement for me? I can't even use it. How about uh, Bastila? Nope, not using it. All right. No, I was just trying to... Just trying to switch back. There we go. What's in this one? Money. Is that... Is that it? Did we win? Taurus launch codes, adrenaline amplifier, energy shield, strength gauntlets, and neural band. Alright, strength gauntlets sounds like something you'd be into. Let's go heal, though. Oh, well, Mara didn't get healed at all. Strength gauntlets. Yes, sure. We got awareness plus two or will plus two. Damage 
to hit. What's the difference here? What's the difference between awareness and will? All right, whatever. Let's put that one on. Uh, this is all fine. Let's get out of here. That's the whole thing, huh? That's where we saved. What's the point of this? Can we do something with this? What can I do? So you can stop being useless and annoying. Get off the door. Should we open this? Not oh, we already were here. Oh, what I just got something. Sith base passcode improved energy cell. Did I just miss this whole room? Alright. Seems to be it, though. Oh, this is the transformer I blew up. I wonder if I could have blown up this transformer. With, like, a security camera. Thing. Alright. So that's what it is. Got it. I think we cleared out this whole base, and we did not level up as much as I wanted to. We checked this. Yeah. This was just that long pathway to that other room. Where we killed these guys, I think, right? Yep. I think we're done here. Took those guys out. Definitely did all that. Yeah, I think we're... Get off the wall. I think we're done with this. We just gotta get... Where are we going? Alright. That one we couldn't open, and that one we took care of. So that's it. We just rampaged through this whole Sith base. And, uh... We still need 7,000 experience to level up. Let's just go back to the hideout, I think. Two apartments, Upper City South, Lower City, Droids by Janus. Let's just go to the hideout. All right, now we will go back to the club and see if we can uh, defeat anybody else in the fighting pit fighting ring thing. Which, is that straight ahead? Yes, Upper City Cantina is straight ahead. Do you have anything that I want? Hey, look at this. A real live celebrity right here in my shop. Winning that swoop bike race has made you into something of a local hero. If time I didn't expect that. so tough, I'd give you a discount, seeing as how you're a big celebrity and all. But with the Sith occupation, I can barely afford to keep the doors open. I mean, I did kill all the Sith, if that helps. Because of the Sith quarantine, I haven't been able to... All right, what do you got? Med packs, military suit, combat suit. Blah, 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 bunch of garbage is what I'm seeing. Uh, heavy blaster. Let's sell a heavy blaster. Beam splitter, hair trigger. Oh, I wonder if I could have put, like, this Durasteel bonding alloy on my... I don't know. Never mind. That's a melee thing. Ooh, a hair trigger. All right. Sith base passcode. Droid plating flame flamethrower. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
and I probably don't need to be rocking two disruptor rifles and two ion rifles. That seems redundant. I don't know if this armor is any good. Let's say it's not. Okay. <clears throat> and, uh, I mean, I guess we could buy security spikes, but whatever. Let's just get out of here. Hey, Sith. Your buddy's dead. Don't bother me. I'm here on official Sith business. I'm here on official business, too. Pew, 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 pew. Let's see if we do any better with our fight against the old guy now. Yep, yep, give me a rematch. Yep, yep, yep. Ladies and Uh-huh. Marl. Veteran. Marl the veteran. Alright, let's do energy shield. Sniper shot. Normal attack. Okay. You forgot the energy shield there, lady. Are we... Are we winning? I don't think so. Oh, maybe. No, we're not. We are almost dead. What if we could throw a grenade at him? Be nice to see the fight. <laughs> We're just kiting him. Nice, we won through kiting. <laughs> All right. Definitely wouldn't have won just standing there, but I mean, we're ranged, so we might as well take advantage of it. Alright. I mean, we're not going to win against Twitch. I'll tell you that right now. But we got 125 experience, which is not nearly the 7,000 that we need. Alright. We got 400 credits for winning that. Alright, let's try one of the best duelists on Terrace. Twitch. I think you're ready to fight Twitch. Twitch might be crazy, but he's the best in the game. If you can beat him, you'll be the new champion. Let's do it. I'm totally going to lose. Center rings. Oh. Night after night, battle after battle, we've watched this young phenom rise to the ranks. In this corner, the challenger for the title of Taris Dueling Champion, the Mysterious Stranger. All right, this is going to go poorly. Let's try a frag grenade, too. Oh, is that allowed? I didn't think it was actually going to be allowed. So far, Twitch is way easier than Marl was. It wasn't even close. I mean, I didn't even need the grenades.
All right, another 155 XPs. Go talk to Twitch. You fast, you quick, you even beat Twitch. You are the new dueling champion. Twitch had a good run, but you took him down. Here's the purse for beating Twitch. The bad news is that I don't have anyone left who wants to fight you. You're too good for your own good. Nobody wants to get in the ring with you. The only one left is Bendak Starkiller, but he's retired. Too bad people would pay a fortune to see you fight Bendak. 500 credits. And I am... Nowhere close to leveling up. Is level 8 a good level to fight Bendak? Ooh, we could try it. Uh, Alright. Well, let's save, because I remember Bendak said it was going to be a death match. So we'll save it. Mara 20. And let's give it a shot. No pun intended. What's up, Benny? I've been watching you in the dueling ring. Not bad for an amateur. I'm tempted to come out of retirement and show you what it's like to do battle against a real champion. But I only fight death matches. And not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about you, stranger? You think you got what it takes? You're on, Bendak. Finally, fresh meat. Azure will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. Oh, now he's actually leaving? I thought his whole thing was he wasn't going to leave. Huh, that's interesting. You and Bendak are planning a deathmatch. Excellent news, people will bet a fortune on this fight, but why are you here now? A deathmatch takes time to get ready. I have to bribe officials so they don't break it up. You might as well leave the cantina for now and come back later. Okay. Thought I had to talk to him to get it set up. So now what do we do? Well, I guess we might as well go back to the hideout to refill our health. We go to the Undercity and talk at the cantina? Or is that what we're supposed to do? Let's try that, I guess. That's not the way to the Undercity. Is it this way? Yeah. Uh, up. Yes, yeah, so we gotta go to the second upper city and then we can take the elevator down to the Undercity, right? Let me just double check. Apartments. Yeah, there's the lower city. All right. Okay, let's go talk to uh, Candorous, right? First door on the left. This area here, particularly back here with like the sparks and the gray and everything, really makes me want to watch Demolition Man. Such a good movie. All right, where's Candorous? Oh, you're just still standing there. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break in, and I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So, what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base and right to the Ebon Hall. We can go right now. 
I have a few things to take care of first. Fair enough, but don't take too long. As soon as you're ready to get inside Davik's estate, come speak to me. The sooner we get off this rock, the better. Well, that was it, huh? Let's talk to Zax. Not more details. Tell me about Bendak. Legend on Terra started out as a duelist, never lost, only fought death ma matches. Bendak wasn't ready to retire. Put a bounty on him, big folk hero. Everybody winds up dead. Alright. I did all the other stuff, so I guess we're we're really just supposed to leave the cantina and go back in, I guess. I was hoping for a bit more than that. Quicker to do this than uh, run all the way back. I wish there was like a real run run button, but no such luck. Well, let's see if our match is ready so we can get dead from Bendak and then say screw it and then go back and talk to Ganderas. I just don't know any other way to earn experience here. We've kind of gone through all the areas that I know of. Come on, party. Bastila, you idiot. Now let's see if the match is ready. Let's get on with the match. Anything goes. You ready to fight? Uh, you know what? I'm not ready. Let's save again. But we'll overwrite the Mara 20 now that we can actually uh, do the fight. All right. Yep. Let's try this. See how it goes. Let's get on with the match. I'm ready. Hi, wagers. Come see me if you're still alive. All right. I don't want to take a light tube spot. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive. <laughs> Out of retirement for one last battle. Bandic Starkiller. And who would be crazy enough to step into the ring with such a lethal legend? Who would be mad enough to face almost certain death Merely for your enjoyment, ladies and gentlemen, feast your wondering eyes on the mysterious stream. This is not a whispering eye. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let the death match begin! Okay. Dark side points gained. Great. Energy shield. Um, shoot him. Oh, run. Oh, jeez. 18 damage off the bat. Um, why is he just throwing explosives at me? I can't do it. Uh, he hits hard. I'm not even, not even damaging him. I'm just trying to survive. Wow. Okay. Cool. Yeah. He um. 
he's as tough as I expected. Let's try that one more time. I feel like I'm supposed to be another level higher. Yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> so he's just gonna throw grenades. Can we, can we move past this again, please? Come on. Skip. Clicky, clicky. Alright. Throw a grenade. Run away. Oh, he's using plasma grenades. Let's just throw all of our grenades. Wow. I think we're dead. Dead or sleeping. I wasn't watching my health at all. Cool. This is not worth it. This is just stupid. I'm going to try one more time. Specifically, I'm going to run when he throws the grenade. Then I'm going to throw a grenade and run again. And we're just going to try repeating that process. And if I lose badly again, we'll just go to Kandaris and get out of here. So I know he's going to start by throwing a grenade. Let's, uh... Nope. That was stupid. So now he's just shooting me. Let's use a better grenade. Oh, I'm stunned. Wake up! Alright, all right, whatever. Whatever, game. Whatever. Thought I could run away from those grenades a bit, but it didn't work. Let's go see Candorus. I don't know what else to do here. It's like I'm 7,000 XP too low. I don't know where I missed the opportunity to get 7,000 XP, but I feel like I'm supposed to be another level higher to fight this guy, at least one level higher. But, I don't know. Maybe if I was a melee fighter, I could just run up to him. That would completely get rid of his grenade option, and I could just beat him down with a stick. I don't know. But taking 18 damage from a grenade is not cool. Because I've only got, what, 48 HP. No, I don't want to go to talk to you. You're an idiot. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe melee would be easier. Maybe uh, maybe I'm just supposed to be a level higher. I don't know. Like I said, I, I can't imagine I can go through Davik's base, get to the Ebon Hawk, and then come back after gaining a level from doing that. Probably not going to work for me. I don't know. Be nice if like the Sith troopers repopulated in the base and I could just go like <laughs> grind on Sith troopers. No, let me rephrase that. Kill all the Sith troopers, leave, and then have them respawn so I can get experience. I don't want to grind on Sith troopers. That's wholly inappropriate. Get out of the way, chair. Alright. Hey Candorus. I figured you'd be. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's Go. Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. 
Special cybernetic implant that regenerates minor wounds. All right. Oh, dark side. Take Candorus and the droid or Candorus and the Jedi? I feel like the Jedi is the better option because of her healing. Yeah, let's go. I wish cutscenes didn't kick me out of the game. Billions of people on Terrace. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Malik. Okay. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Seems like a bad turn of events for us. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. This guy with the mushroom hat. You may be the newest calf hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davak. I ran into someone the exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. Brezhik had to learn that double-crossers tend to end up dead. An important lesson to learn, no doubt. In my line of business, I've seen far too many people suffer for not understanding it. With the recommendation from Candorus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Your offer intrigues me, Davik. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. It's an ugly Note ship. The state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These will be your accommodations. I love that we just have a Jedi with us. Down the hall, if you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. 
I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. I'm looking forward to working with you, Davik. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. Dude's got a minigun. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, he's pretty dark. Alright, let's level him up. So he is a strength constitution wisdom build. Alright. He gets one point, huh? Alright, treat injury. He's got some heavy armor. Rapid shot. Heavy weapons. Improved toughness. Well, that seems to be his thing, so... Alright. Skills. Treat injury. Rapid shot. So he's level seven. Bastila is level eight. And my character is level eight. Oh, let's look at his gear. Oh, dude, your gear sucks. Yep. Oral amplifier? Sure. Have better awareness, man. And you're just wearing normal clothes. I keep confusing my character with Bastila in these little pictures. All right. So what are we supposed to do here? Can we open this one? What? Why did you just run like that, weirdo? I should keep doing that. All right, let's just open these. On it. Hey, what's the idea of barging in here? Kudu. Slaves aren't allowed out of the slave quarters. I can't let them see me here. Hey, baby, wait. I wasn't actually going. Damn it. Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night. So you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. No need to call the guards. I just got lost. Uh-uh. No way. You're not getting out of this mess that easy. You can explain yourself to the guards. Great. If you live long enough for them to question you. I guess we're just shooting this bounty hunter. Bad start. Yeah, please make it quick, Bastila. So be it. Oh, we're already fighting another guy? All right, I guess we really shouldn't have bothered the guests, huh? Credits, parts, okay, cool. Uh, well, you know, since this is the path we're taking, I guess we'll just keep opening doors. On it. Done. Ooh, these are some horrific heads. On it. Done. Hair trigger and a Pazak card. Oh, I want a workbench so I can work on that hair trigger stuff. On it. Done. Data pad. More Pazak cards. What's up with the data pad? I forgot how to view the data pads. Where's the where's the data pad? Feats? It's not a feat. 
quest item. That's not the same thing. Is it a miscellaneous item? I have no idea. Whatever. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out or me call guards. I wanted to ask you some questions. You get out or me get mad. Answer my questions or I'll carve my initials in your skull with my blaster bolts. Alright. Well, dark side points. That's fun. All right, so every time we fail one of those checks, one random guard shows up. That's fine. We wouldn't get dark side points otherwise. Not that that's my goal here, but I just wanted to explore. Hearts, credits, okay. I just might not have another opportunity to get in here like this. So I thought it'd be worth checking out. Let's see what's around the corner. Ah, slaves. Wonderful. Just what I always wanted. A game with slaves. Parts and credits. Cool. Alright, let's talk to them. Maybe we can rescue them. Welcome to the slave quarters, fair mistress. I mean no disrespect, but perhaps one of the male slaves could serve your needs better. Don't judge me. Welcome to the slave quarters, mistress. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. Would you like a relaxing massage, mistress? Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. I'd love a massage right now. As you wish, mistress. You will find this most relaxing. If you would come with me into the massage room at the back. I trust you are satisfied with the service. I have received many compliments on my skills. Got a short, from sore clients. shoulder, so I mean. <laughs> it was everything I ever dreamed. You truly are an expert in your craft. Thank you, my lady. I hope you will express your appreciation to Davik. He often rewards those slaves who perform their duties well. Is there anything else you require? I need some information. But. What could I possibly tell you? It is forbidden for slaves to leave this room on pain of torture and death. Tell me what I want to know and I'll tell Davik how pleased I was with your performance. Praise from the guests is a valuable commodity here. Davik rewards the slaves who perform their duties well. I will tell you what I know. Davik rarely lets us leave the slave quarters. We only know what we hear from Davik's guests. Recently, they've all been talking about poor Hudro. He was caught trying to steal some spice from the lab. Normally, Hudro is allowed to get away with things like that because he's Davik's personal pilot for the Evan Hawk. But since the Sith have grounded every ship on the planet, Hudro doesn't get any more special treatment. They've locked him up in Davik's torture chambers. Where's the torture chamber? I think you can get there through the hall behind the west door of Davik's throne room. Just keep going west from the slave quarters, and you'll see the throne room. But Davik's certain to have guards patrolling the area. If you leave the guest wing, they'll shoot you on sight. Please, I don't know anything else. I'll be going. Of course. Return whenever you wish to partake of what we offer here. We exist. This is so sad. I want to take them with me. Not just for the massages. Welcome to the slave quarters, fair mistress. Uh, you say the same thing. I mean thing. no disrespect, but... We got a door. And a door. And... Those look like droids. Let's see what's here. Actually, let's save. We're going to wrap up this episode soon. Hmm. Not much. 
Actually, that could be where the torture chamber is, because that's a long haul with nothing in between. So this could very well be the torture chamber. Alright, let's just shoot a guard, I guess. Now that must be Oh, I thought the other guy was the guy getting tortured. Can we act here, please? Why are we just standing here? Alright. Well, there goes three more guards. Frag grenade, sonic grenade. Cool. Let's see what's in here. Mm, not much. Just more hallways? Alright, let's go through this door. Oh. That's where the... Okay. Well, there's a security terminal. We only have six. Alright. Spice Lab. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. We could gas the room if we had more. Barracks has three. Oh, those are those two droids we just saw. Cannot gas the room. Couple of droids. Gassing that room would be pointless. The hangar is us. We could gas the room. Spice. Wow, they have a lot. Okay. Throne room. Nothing. Guest room. Oh, that's the torture chamber for sure. Hangar. Okay. So if we had one more spike, we could do ourselves a favor and get rid of some of these guys, but we can't. So... Huh. Disable hangar security. That would have been nice. Um, all we can do is open all security doors, which we can kind of do ourselves. So let's just not do anything. That got us nowhere. I mean, we just have an idea of how many guys there are we have to deal with now. Missed something? Seven credits. All right. Let's see. We didn't go in these doors. Oh, the guest room is there. We're going the wrong way. Barracks, Spice Lab, Barracks, Barracks. All right, we got to turn around. We gotta go that way. But what's this one? Oh, that's the hangar. Okay. Alright, let's go back to that guest room. I want to free that guy who's being tortured. See if that helps us in any way, shape, or form. And if we blow up a couple of droids along the way, so be it. Barracks, barracks. Barracks. Spice lab. Alright, so we're gonna make a left, and we're gonna have to deal with some droids right there. Let's uh, equip this quick. Really? Oh, there's a bounty hunter. You cannot win. No, definitely cannot win. We just absolutely wrecked that guy. What is this little room right here? It's not on our map. How dare you invade my chambers? How rude! I am a personal guest of Davik himself. I left specific instructions that you guards were not to disturb me until morning. How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of incompetence on display? Blah, I blah, 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 blah. report you to your commanding officer. Davik just wanted to make sure you didn't need anything. Well, I suppose I can forgive the intrusion in this case. Tell Davik I admire a host who has his underlings check up on the well-being and comfort of his guests. I don't require anything right now. You can tell Davik oh, everything about five my credit tip. most pleasing so far. 
Here's a five credit chip for your trouble, sir. Thank you, sir. Now scurry on back to Davik. If I find I have need of anything, I'll buzz you. Until then, I expect you to respect my privacy. Your privacy? Your privacy requires me to go through your foot lockers. Thank you, sir. Heavy combat suit. Armor reinforcement. Heavy blaster. Nice. All right. Uh, you need a heavy combat suit. Much better. Oh, yes. Much better. Okay. We're all set with this guy. Here, it's... This guy does not mind the uh, remains. Ooh, computer pass card. This guy does not mind the remains that are just outside the door at all. He doesn't care. Okay, we'll save again. I hate save spamming, but it just feels like the right thing to do because I am making this for YouTube and I don't want it to be boring. What's up, torture droid? I just took 60 damage. What? Yeah. What? Davix on fire. Oh boy. Sorry, Bastila. The force fights with me. Uh-huh. Ion grenade, that's what I wanted. Oh well, never mind. Great. The Force demands you cure Mara, who got nuked. Yeah, that was bad. That was very bad. Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. I couldn't sit by and let you suffer. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible, anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. Okay, you're free to go. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. All right, well, it would have been 10 spikes to disable the security. We've got what we came for. We should get going. But we were just able to do it at the low, low cost of Mara's life. All right, cool. And this guy still doesn't care what we're doing. Um... Do we want to mess with the barracks in the spice lab just for the experience? I kind of feel like we do. Let's give it a shot. Let's save again. Sorry to save, scum. I really hate doing that, but... Just, I'm only doing it because I'm doing this on YouTube. Wow, that is a lot of guys. Let's throw a grenade at this one. Another one? Nice. All right. Just shoot this guy. These guys are actually pretty weak. Probably didn't need to use all those grenades, but it was fun. Med pack. I don't really need a med pack. I can just switch to Bastila. Yes. And cure. Even better. Wait, was it another remains? Did I miss somebody? I thought I just saw remains flash on my screen. Maybe not. All right, whatever. Well, that was fun and easy, so let's do another one. Shoot him! What are you doing? Alright. 
Bastil is a bit of a beast against weaker guys. That's good. A med pack. Nothing. That's it. One med pack. Two med packs. And a frag grenade. All right, let's see what's here. I hear a droid. Oh, this is just that long hallway that we were already at. Okay. Huh. We did the barracks, we did the throne room, we did the guest room. I guess we're just leaving. Hangar, turn right. Computer panel. On it. Damn. Wait, is this one sufficient to type in the codes? Oh. System commands. Disable hangar security. Return to route. Log out. I wish we could get those slaves to come with us. Just walk them right out. Damn those Sith, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or... Oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. This voice actor's well, fantastic. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and we'll kill us all. All right. Dude, Mara just got torched. Oh, I shouldn't be throwing a grenade. Um, yeah, let's just do, uh... Power blast, rapid shot, normal attack, sure. Stunned. If I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal Mara's so squishy. bring this whole hangar down around our ears. Okay. What can I do? Heal. Heal. Uh, how about a heal? Okay. So... That whole battle was just... Ooh. Davik's war suit. Cool. Anything we can grab from Kalo? Kalo? Doesn't seem like it. Seems like we just get out of here. Oh, I'm taking damage. Okay, let's get out of here. Do you wish to board the Ebon Hawk? Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Cutscenes always break the game when I'm recording. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Yeah, I clearly am not going to get that bounty, am I? I really wish these all didn't count as separate cutscenes and keep kicking me out of the game. It's really annoying.
Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Do I actually get to do something? Stop screwing up the cutscenes. Whatever, it's just gonna be small, I guess. Great. I'm sorry about the cutscenes, guys. I don't know how to fix it. Oh. We can kind of sort of move. What am I shooting at? This is so awkward. Where are you at? Ah, I can't just like slightly move. It's it's such a big movement. Shut up. What? Where is it? Oh, there it is. There's like no subtlety with this movement. It's so extreme. I'm gently tapping the keys here. Stop beeping at me. Can't go any lower. We're hit. Damage is critical. The hawk won't hold. We lose. Come on. <sighs> wow. Okay. That sucks. That sucks. My last save is there. All right, guys. We're gonna end the episode here. That was stupid. Um, trying to aim that cannon is so hard because you tap the, the the a key slightly and it goes like six inches left it's ridiculous i'll run back through and get us back to that point and that's where we'll pick up next episode friends if you enjoyed this episode please consider leaving a like or a comment or even subscribing to my little channel here as always be kind to yourselves be kind to each other thanks so much for watching we'll see you in the next episode